Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another update. So right now at this time period, because as most of us know is that sadly several millions and millions of people have obviously fallen off of the unemployment situation. Um, I do know is that a very big question a lot of people were wondering is about whether or not they can possibly try to reapply for the unemployment. And then if they were to try to reapply, how to actually physically reapply. So in today's update is I really just want to kind of explain the reapplication process. If just by any chance, maybe you have already fallen unemployment off of unemployment completely, which I do know obviously last week this happened to apply to probably about seven, eight, nine, ten million people as we probably have mentioned. Now the big thing is obviously as most of you guys know, just because there are some brand new people here. Um, is that there are obviously some people that are still on the unemployment program either because they still have weeks left or because they were able to move on to the extended benefits program. Of course, we kind of already talked all about that in a previous video, which I'll put at the end screen. I believe it's literally just called Can I Continue Unemployment? And there's a couple other videos to so definitely check out and I'll put at the end as well. But the big thing is that if you are someone that maybe fell off of unemployment completely and you're maybe thinking about trying to reapply, then welcome because this is probably the video for you. Now, I do want to note one really, really huge important thing is, is that because of a lot of the changes in the programs that have been going on, it is very, very important to notice is that while most of you guys can try to look into reapplying, only a certain percentage of you guys may actually physically be able to qualify for unemployment or qualify to get your unemployment extended or simply put to just have another claim open up once again by reapplying. So we're going to talk all about that in detail today but maybe as always real fast before we begin consider smashing the like button because it's always greatly appreciated consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos like this we will probably be making a transition out to talk about more just general finance and maybe career job related videos so just do note about that just because of course we are in the final stretch and as always feel free to comment any questions thoughts about honestly just really anything at all or information that you might have about just really anything so with that being said let's get this video started So if you're looking to potentially try to get back onto the unemployment program by trying to reapply, the big thing to note maybe to start off above all else is that you have to actually make sure you physically qualify for it. Now every single state there is going to be some kind of variation so I would highly highly recommend double checking by maybe just looking at your state's particular unemployment website so you can literally just google up unemployment and then just put in your state unemployment reapplication and then just insert your state but I'll be answering this question from basically what I have found across the majority of states. Um, what I have found in New York, only biased because I happen to be in New York. So even though we love all of these states, well, more or less, we love every single state. Um, it's just a lot easier for me to find information to kind of put out there in New York since I can actually just pump information from my own particular unemployment website. Um, but this also, I believe, applies to California and other particular states, is that you have to have been someone that has recorded wages at some point in the last one year to five quarters. And I put that as a range because that's typically what it's invo what's involved in order to try to get back on. I can confirm that if this is in New York, it's going to be five quarters. So essentially what this means is that you have to have been someone that has recorded wages of some kind um, in essentially the last one to one and a half year, essentially dating back since about the summer of 2020. The big reason why this this is actual requirement in order to get on is because they actually use a lot of this information in order to calculate how much you actually physically apply for. For example, this is actually technically the calculator that they use in New York. But again, I do know is, is that it's very, very similar in a lot of other states is that what they basically do is, is that they calculate your different wages across all of the individual quarters and then through a particular math or formula or system that they use, that's how they really come up with how much you would physically qualify for. So, so when you're looking at this now, one of the things is, is that you might be wondering if you have to have been someone that has recorded wages, but you're still unemployed, then who would this actually physically apply to? The, the big idea really about who this would physically apply to is that there are either a lot of people, say for example, some people that are maybe watching this that maybe just joined the unemployment 
employment workforce or they're interested in trying to find out how to reapply, even if this is sometime in the future because this is the unemployment program that has been going on for essentially years and years. But even people that have actually been unemployed in the past, this actually would really, really apply for a lot of people who maybe were unemployed during the pandemic, but there were a lot of people that maybe lost work during the pandemic, but then what ended up happening is, is that they actually ended up finding work and or finding employment back again. This happened actually to a lot of people last holiday season. So during the winter of 2020 into like the very, very beginning of 2021, there might have been some people that maybe found a holiday job, a temporary job. So because of that reason, they they were able to thankfully find some money in order to cover up or help out with all of the bills and expenses. But what ended up happening is, is that during the second or third wave at this point, because there's such a gray line to what actually that means, what ended up happening is that they essentially lost work, then they found employment, so they thankfully were able to record wages, but then they lost work again. So that is basically one category of people that this might apply to. There were also a lot of people that maybe sadly also lost work. And this one admittedly actually does apply to me as well. Um, is that there are a lot of people that maybe during the pandemic, they ended up losing work. But what they did also end up doing is that they ended up finding side hustles or part-time employment. So they were kind of put into a situation when as things were starting to reopen, they were thankfully finally able to kind of find work, but they never hit the complete full, full-time 40 hour threshold. So it was because of that reason, by that logic, they technically were still able able to stay onto the unemployment program, but also work a job to essentially get money in both places. So these are people that maybe were still on the unemployment program and was able to continue it all the way until pretty much Labor Day, which is last week if you're watching this on release date, but were still also able to record wages in between because they were still employed. It's just that they were only employed part-time. So if one of these situations apply to you, or if you just simply want to take a chance and try to get more information, then this is maybe something that you can potentially attempt to try to look into. Of course, because there is a certain threshold and that threshold varies across state in terms of how much money you actually have to have physically made when you were employed or when you got back to employed or when you made your wages, whether this was through a full-time job or through a side hustle or a temporary gig of some kind, that one's really gonna vary across state. But I definitely think that if you're anywhere closely remote to this, to having something like this happen, it may be something to look into applying, especially if you are still looking for work or just still simply put out of work. Now, if all of these things end up happening and let's say you do actually want to finally try to at least attempt to reapply, then the big things that you're really going to need is this is really something that comes directly from the New York Unemployment Office website. And again, I only use New York because I know aside from the fact that there's a lot of people there, it's also just because I physically have easy access to New York information since I happen to be from there. But again, all of this stuff actually is relatively applicable even in a lot of other states. But basically, what you're really going to need by looking at this is that you're pretty much going to need to have a driver's license um, or a passport or just simply put some kind of ID to identify who you are. Um, you are going to need a social security number and then you're really just going to need contact information such as like an address, an email or a phone number. And in terms of the reason why they really need all of that information, it's really because all of this contact that you really give to them, it's pretty much what they're going to be using to physically reach out to you and send you all of the updates that happen as you are unemployed. Now, if you are someone that is already simply put, you know, assuming that you've already been unemployed this entire time, but you're just trying to file a brand new application, then the great news is, is that they should probably have most of this on file and it should even be inside of the same account you've been using so you may even be able to use the same exact account but it is just something to simply put to just maybe have to just put it again anyway if they end up just needing it um, just as kind of like backup and just to make sure and again, I think especially the address part is probably going to be really particularly important because they're probably going to be sending the decision letters in a physical mail to the address that you provide to them. Now, I do know is obviously is that there are some people that maybe are you know, moving around right now. I know it's been a very, very difficult time even to this day for a lot of people. But the big thing is that if you just simply need an address, probably the best advice in bed is that you're probably going to have to either put down a family or friend's address that 
that can maybe help you receive mail to give it to you or you may potentially have to try to open up a PO box of some kind or just simply put as some kind of location or mailbox that you can just physically receive physical mail because that's where they're pretty much going to send most of the details. And then really the last thing that you're really going to need after this, and this is probably one of the more trickier things to get, is that you're pretty much going to need to have some kind of record or some set of information about all of the places that you were employed within the last 18 months or basically one year to 18 months. The reasoning really is because as mentioned is that they use a lot of this information to calculate how much you would physically qualify for if you did physically qualify for more unemployment going forward. So what they're really going to be looking for, for example, is essentially, for example, like your last employers or just all of the employers that you've had in the last, again, 12 to 18 months, F-E-I-N number. Um, so I believe that literally just stands for Federal Employer Identification Number, if I remember correctly. And the reason is because they need to use this information in order to punch into the application um, to essentially just simply put to know that you were employed at this particular location back then. In terms of where you can find that particular information, it should actually be pretty much in most of your guys' um, you guys's, um, W-2s from when you were employed or your tax documents. A lot of times in the tax documents, it will give the FEIN number that you will need to potentially input it. And sometimes actually, if you were to look into your, if, if you work for a particularly big famous company, it is actually even possible that when you file your application and you punch in that particular employer, they may even already have a set of options where you can actually just select the FEIN number based on what they already have on file. So this is just really the big things that you really just need to have if you're looking to try to reapply once again. And if you do end up going through all of this stuff, I think I believe typically it should take about two to three weeks for them to finally respond to you. I would definitely try to maybe take down phone numbers so if something ends up being delayed or if you just simply want an update about where you currently stand, you can definitely at least try to call them. We've shared lots of advice about trying to call the unemployment offices about how you should try to just take down different numbers, try to rotate between the numbers, try to call at very scattered times of day because sometimes there are a lot more free if you call them earlier than if you call them later but of course this one once again varies across state to state but beyond that is that's pretty much what I really just wanted to share in today's update so if you guys found it insightful um, maybe consider smashing the like button if you guys haven't um, if you guys enjoy similar videos maybe consider subscribing and as always feel free to comment any questions thoughts about honestly just really anything about all oh. so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys managed to make it this far maybe comment down below and with that being said hope to see you guys next time thank you guys so much again Thank you.